Walk me through from your perspective. So the call out goes out and I say, hey, if you're interested, raise your hand and and then go. Now over to you, what, what, what happens after that? As the discussion amongst us came out and I saw the my teammates who were throwing their names in a hat, I'm like, man, there's some phenomenal talent, right? Leaders who I would follow as a guardian if they became Chief Master on the Space Force. And so I was hesitant for a little bit. Um, but then I look back at, you know, I had some mentorship many years ago by another chief and I was still an airman. To self-eliminate for opportunities is not really our job, right? Our job is as chief to present a slate of talent to senior leaders to allow them to make the decision that they need to make. Um, so I continued on and I said, okay, I'm going to go through it. But at the end of it, I think after actually going through the process with, with my teammates, um, really gave me a significant insight to what the weight, what it means to be the Chief Master Sergeant of the Space Force. You know, when you're standing there doing a mock congressional testimony, and you're like, this is your opportunity to advocate for the families and for guardians. What you say will impact whether or not we get resources, whether we get advocacy. That's a lot to kind of carry. And I, and I knew those, those are things that the senior list advisors for all the services do but didn't really have an appreciation until I was on the spot with the spotlight on me sitting there in front of the camera um, with, the, with the mock and kind of walking through that. 